All right, so basically I have this spreadsheet with some worksheets. So I'll go to Tools and Script Editor. Give this project some name. I'm gonna call it Sidebar Delete App. I'm gonna start an HTML file. Call it Sidebar. And let's go to metroui.org.ua. I'm gonna use this for user interface. Get started. Here, I'm gonna scroll down to components, open that and scroll down to find tables. There it is, table. So in here, I'm gonna scroll down a little more to get to this. See, it's a table that has checkboxes. So that's great. Let me open another tab with this. Let's just go to get started. And here, I'm gonna scroll down. Let's see if there's a starter template here. There it is. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this. Go to my HTML file, select all of this and paste this instead. And we basically have this hello in here, that's fine. Now I'm gonna go back to that tables example, which was pretty much this thing and just copy this. Go back to here and paste it right in here. I'm gonna indent this to make this nicer. Let's move this closing to this line. Now I'm not gonna use this JSON file as a data source. So I'm gonna get rid of that, save it. And we just want to, at this point, be able to load this here as a sidebar. Now, for us to be able to see what we're doing, I'm gonna go inside of this table right in here and add a couple of rows. So I'll do a TR and in this TR we'll do a TD. And in this TD I'll just say sheet one. And then we'll just copy this whole row and paste it below again. And I'll do sheet two for this. I'm gonna get rid of these in a little bit, but for now I want something so we can see what it looks like. So let's now add a script file and we'll call it sidebar loader. So this time I'm doing script, not HTML. And here we'll do a function. And for this, we need to basically create HTML service from the sidebar HTML file and load it in our spreadsheet. So for that, we'll take our HTML service and do create template from file. And the file is gonna be this file called sidebar. And I'll just save this in a variable. And then we'll take that HS HTML service and evaluate it. And that should give us HTML output. And then we'll take another variable here, which will be our user interface UI. So for that, I'll take our spreadsheet app and get UI. And in this UI, we'll basically show sidebar, which will require this user interface, which is gonna be this, HTML output. So that should take care of this. Now let's also create a menu to load this sidebar in here so we can click on it and load this thing.
So we'll take our UI, copy and paste that. And then inside of that UI, we have create menu. I'll call this one utilities. Let's just put this in a variable. And then to that menu, we'll add an item and that will be delete worksheets. And when we click on that, we want to run this load sidebar function right in there. And finally, we'll take that menu and add it to our user interface. And the last thing we need to do here to take care of this menu and all of this loading part is just create an on open function. And in this one, we're just gonna run that create menu function. Basically, when the spreadsheet loads, we'll run this function. This will create the menu. When we click on this menu, it will run this load sidebar function, which will show the sidebar. Save all of this. Let's go test this. So to test this, I need to close this script editor for a second and just refresh this spreadsheet. So see this showed up, utilities menu. If I open that, there is delete worksheets. If I click on this, I'm gonna have to give permissions for this to do whatever it needs to do. All right, let's try this again. Great, we got this. This doesn't seem to load the actual rows. So let's try to take care of that. Let's go to tools, script editor. Go to my HTML. Maybe it needs like a body in the table for this to work. Let's try that. And it also could be that it needs column names, but we're gonna find out. So open it here, close it in here. Indent this, save it. Let's go back and reload this thing. Still nothing. I'm gonna have to go to the docs and find out what's going on here. Let's just see an example. See, they have the head section. and then body and row. So maybe we just need the head section. So copy that, go back to this, right above this body, still inside of the table. I'm gonna paste this, just tab it in. I'm gonna also indent this. So we don't really need a bunch of columns here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna keep one of these. Delete that, delete this, just call this one worksheet. Okay, so let's take a look now. Save this, go back, reload this thing. All right, there it is. So we got the header, we got these two lines. See, we have the check boxes, we have the numbering. And check boxes and numbering, they're coming from this declarations here. See, it has data check true and row number true. So those are the numbers and the check boxes.